What's up guys, this is Jay here with the Columbia Watch Society. And before I get into the video here on the Seiko Diver, um, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel by clicking that subscribe button. If you're a YouTuber, you know what I'm talking about. And go ahead and give us a thumbs up. I don't understand the YouTube algorithm, but I know that it helps and it will help this get video and other videos that we have get viewed. So would really appreciate that. All right, so today I'm gonna to talk about the Seiko Samurai Save the Ocean Edition. This is reference SRPC 93. This is a special edition watch, a uh, special release from Seiko um, with part of the proceeds from sale of this watch going to support the Fabian Cousteau Ocean Learning Center, which is an organization, a uh, nonprofit that brings uh, awareness and does different things. Um, to help um, preserve the world's oceans. So pretty cool organization. I don't really know anything about it, but uh, hats off to Seiko for supporting that. Um, it's very important. Um, all right, so like jump into the watch. First thing I wanna talk about is the dial. I think this is the best dial that I've seen Seiko do to date. I've seen a lot of watches. I've uh, been a big fan of Seiko for the last decade. This takes the cake. Um, they put, they did a Save the Ocean release in the Samurai, which is here, and also the Turtle. Um, prior to this watch, I was a big fan of the Patty Turtle. Most of you guys probably know what I'm talking about. That was like my dial, uh, but this like totally like smacks that one out of the water. Um, even stretching into other brands, other watches that I've had, like this is the best dial. Um, and I'm gonna to try to give you as many angles of it as I can. Lighting's not great here, um, but I think you can kind of get the idea. Um, so the dial is made to like resemble the surface of the ocean. You can see with the, uh, with the different lines and the different levels, um, they're not perfectly symmetrical. Um, so you really, um, you know, kind of see you can see what I'm talking about with the surface surf, surface of the ocean, excuse me. Um, and just the way the light hits it, it's got so many different color variations. It fades from a lighter blue at the top in the 12 o'clock position down to a darker blue in the bottom. Um, one thing I'll, I'll add, uh, other dials, that, uh, or other watches that I've had that have a blue dial, a lot of times they get mistaken as black. Uh, from a distance and just depending on the way the sun's hitting it uh, or the light in the room um this watch with that light and that contrast from light to dark it always has like a blue look like you never mistake this watch for black so that's pretty cool you've also got the blue bezel um and i don't know if you can really see it good in this video uh, but it also fades from a lighter blue to a darker blue so you've got multiple variations of blue going on um, on the dial and the bezel of this watch. Um, as far as dimensions, this is a, I'm looking at my notes here, a 43.8 millimeter diameter dial. Um, it is 13.5 millimeters thick and 48 millimeters lug to lug. So it's slightly larger than the turtle, um, but it's still, it's still not a huge watch. Um, it has, uh, on my, I have a pretty, I mean, I have a seven inch wrist, but I'm real thin and it's still, um, it's not like overpowering on my real like kind of noodle arm that I have. Um, 22 millimeters lug to lug does have drilled lugs and when I, while we're at this view you can see the side of the case here um it's just got um, like angular lugs everything's real sharp um sharp it's brushed the brushing and and with this you just got a lot going on on the side here it almost looks like a uh, <clears throat> like the case is in like a multi-metal case if that makes any sense at all um, this is just different than you see typically on um, other Seiko divers. Just all those like really um, just hard angles 
Uh, you can see how the, the bracelet um, connects there into the case. It's almost at like, it's actually probably close to a 45 degree angle. It's just a different, a different look than you would typically um, see from most of the other Seiko divers as far as the case. Um, I'm a big fan of the turtle. I have several Seiko turtles and I really like that cushion case design, but this is just something different. If you're really into the divers, um, then this is definitely something that's different to add to the collection. Um, other things of note, you've got the, the bezel is, is a gunmetal color. You see it's kind of a dark gray and also the crown um, is a screw down crown. This is a certified dive watch. Um, so using the gunmetal and then the stainless in concert is something I haven't seen Seiko do before. So that's um, just another cool feature that they've added on this watch. It is a 200 miller, 200 meter dive, diver, excuse me, um, screw down crown. It's got good, just fantastic crown action. Um, everything is um, top, top notch. Let's see if I can get that date in the mood. There it goes. Struggling getting in that position, trying to look at it through the camera. Um, 120 click unidirectional bezel. It's real tight. You've got a little bit of movement um, in the opposite direction, but not much. Like you're not going to lose your your spot there. Um, this one has really good uh, alignment with the chapter ring and then the bezel. Um, this is the JDM edition. You can see on the dial, made in Japan. So I would expect a higher degree of QC than those that are um, not assembled or made, or just as the movement assembled in Japan, um, the ones that were introduced in the US market. Um, does have a hard, hard lex crystal um, that's common on all the Seiko divers. It's got Luma Bright for the loom and I'll do um, I'll do another video I'll add it at the end to give you a look at the loom I mean it's it's pretty standard Seiko loom um, glows like a flashlight I mean you could light a if you had enough of these things you could light a room with it um, so no um, no surprises there on the loom um, the movement is a 4R35 it's got the date only in the three o'clock position does hack does hand wind and Seiko website advertises a 41 degree or a 41 hour power reserve and haven't worn this watch um, at length multiple days in a row. I have worn it, but not three, four or five days in a row. Um, and I, I, so I have, um, I have let it sit for a couple of days and it's still ticking. So I'm, um, so I would say that the 41 hour power reserve is 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 very accurate um let's see what else am i missing let's get a, a the bracelet um really nice bracelet solid bracelet um it's brushed um you've got your um, seiko stamp buckle and your um, button here to uh, release it uh, it does have the diver's extension here. This has the, it's not screw, screw in. You've got the um, pins and the collar deal that Seiko uses on a lot of their bracelets. It's pretty easy to change, the, uh, change them out though, uh, once you kind of get the hang of it. Here, I'll we'll give you a look at the case back if you can. Um, it's got Air Diver 200 meter Seiko. It is stamped special edition. And there's your serial number. Uh, and then your um, the Seiko Wave logo there. So no surprises on the back. So anyway, if you got any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll try to answer them the best I can. Um, overall, man, this is just a great watch. 
love, just absolutely am in love with the dial. Um, it, it's very, it's something special. And they, especially if you're into to blue, like you'll have a lot of fun with this. So anyway, that's all I've got to say today on that one. Um, again, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That really helps us out. And give us a thumbs up and like the video. If you've got any questions, comment below. Check us out on Instagram at the Columbia Watch Society. We've got a website where we've done some written reviews, got some art, and got some photos up there as well. And that's colawatch.com, C-O-L-A-W-A-T-C-H.com. And, of course, we're on Facebook as well at the Columbia Watch Society. Um, so, anyway, you guys have a good one, and we will be talking to you later. Bye.